somebody who helps us connect to establish a dialogue with someone we believe. So I grew up in this direct dialogue approach. We used to do this at our home, um, direct conversation. So, so, so you and I will have a direct conversation. So that's kind of approach. And the reason being, uh, and a very simple analogy is, uh, sometime we, uh, sometime we do certain things uh, by ourselves at home. Sometimes we hire an expert, uh, which both situations are okay, right? So, so first thing, we are not an expert, right? So this is that kind of situation. Okay, let's clean our house by ourselves today. That kind of situation, right? It doesn't mean that we are an expert, but because it's our house, we live in it, we believe in it, so, so we can clean it. We should clean it sometimes by ourselves. But sometimes we need expert, right? So this is not an expert situation where uh, those expert uh, ladies and gents will come and do the professional carpet cleaning. Today we are going to do by ourselves. Exactly, and vacuuming. You got it, right? Uh, so, so, so raise your hand, discuss, see if you have any questions, you know you can ask, ask that question, right? I all am open to It's an open forum. Certain interesting thing that we came to know today, uh, uh, while we were discussing and I, I did some, some research every time we try to find something interesting about Ramayana. So, so a, a brief story, this is all hearsay, again I'm not a historian, we, we all are not a historian. Um, we, we, um, we believe in it, I think, at least I believe in it, so, so I think everything starts with the faith uh, and Vishwas. So if you have a faith, uh, if you have a Vishwas, then everything will follow. Uh, we always have this question from our kids, why we do this, I know the story, or we did it last time. Uh, and the simple answer uh, for all of us when we are faced with that question is, uh, uh, like your mom uh, always says to you, uh, I love you and your heavy children of that. Uh, uh, we, we have to say I love you to God all the time. Uh, it's not one day, one night, one morning, right? When you believe in someone, when you love someone, you have to keep repeating that. There is nothing wrong in it, right? So it's not about learning this Ramayana or Ramcharit Manas. It's, it's repeating and saying that we love you, right? Like we all expect um, nice breakfast and, and, and that hug from our mom and dad. So there's a couple of things. Uh, interesting story um, to, to all of you that uh, we are going to do one of the Kants in, in Ram Charit Manas. Ram Charit Manas, as we all know now, somebody answered very nicely, written by Tulsi Das. Um, I think all did that answer, right? Yeah, awesome, man. So, so Tulsi Das wrote this. Interesting story, Praveen and I we were discussing in the beginning, uh, is uh, Ramayana was actually written by Valmiki Ji. And it was written in Sanskrit. Uh, in those days, Sanskrit was only um, read and studied by Brahmins. Uh, and uh, nobody else was able to, to read Ramayana or understand Ramayana. They were dependent, again, the mediation process, they were dependent on those Brahmins who knew Sanskrit. And nobody else was permitted to learn Sanskrit. Tulsidas, Goswami Tulsidas himself was a Brahmin and he revolted against that Brahminical system. Again, this is one aspect. Maybe absolutely wrong, maybe absolutely true, we don't know. I'm just saying one side of the story. Tulsidas himself was a Brahmin and he decided to, 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 to break that ceiling and he said love for Ram should reach to every single human being and it should not be governed by a mediation process. We should have Ram's story in a language that we all can read and understand. So, so, so he wrote a version of Ramayan. There are a lot of additions to it uh, in Avdhi, so so that everybody can read. And and as soon as he did it, it became a <coughs> mega blockbuster because all of, of the normal human beings can were able to read it, right? Like Arna. So yes. Um, so he wrote it, but he wrote it before the real thing happened or after? Uh, no, no, he wrote after real thing happened. Real thing happened way, way, like actual Ram and Sita and everything. That's what your question is? Yeah. Oh, that was a quiz question. Who is Sita? The white Ram. 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 Ram, exactly. Yes, yes, so he wrote way after that. Uh, but, but he was having dreams, people say. Because it happened so before uh, when, when he wrote it that he was having dreams 
and and people say again it's a hearsay that Hanwanji was telling him uh, all the all the stories what exactly happened that time so that's how he wrote it so so anyway so that's the background we will do Sundarkan uh, why we are doing only one Sundar Sasha question why did he have to cut off her, her his sister's um, shoop Nakaz ear and nose okay. Okay. Ew, she did. you have the nose story you don't try wait, 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 wait. Sure, no, no. one by one what's Sasha's question we will address one question at a time then we'll so Sasha's question is what was the reason Ram and Lakshman cut Ravan's sister's nose and ear right that's your question okay you want to try Okay, what is that? Mm. Ravan's sister thought that Lakshman very handsome, so he asked, she asked, <laughs> uh -huh. if he can marry him, uh -huh. and he got, he was, he didn't want to, and he said he was already married, so... He was married? Uh -huh. Very good. No, wow. Mm. And then Ram... Yeah, let him join now. Yeah, what do you want? Who would make that deal? What? Why would she? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what she's trying to do. So very good, very good. Now you can do it. So Ram and Lakshman just cut off her nose. So, so very good. Wonderful. First, very good job. Very good, very good. So Sasha, you raised a very good point. Why exactly they cut uh, Supnaka's uh, nose and ear? Because she was pressurizing uh, Lakshman wow. to 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 marry him, right? And we, we should never pressure someone, right? To do anything, right? So so that's why it happened. But you raise a very good point. Lakshman said no because he's, he was already <coughs> he married. He was already married. So if you're already married, you should say no. But unless you want to have a... Well, you're teaching there. So why are you talking about it? If you're already married, you have to say no. 